Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. Today we're doing a finale for the Roses Are Red Valentine's Day collab. Uh, I created this project and it just kept growing. Like I invited a few friends and then just people just kept wanting to join. So at this point there are just way too many people to just name off here because I will forget. <laughs> <laughs> and rather than just read them off to you, I will have them down below. I will go ahead and leave the tag right here for Instagram if you want to check them out there. And I will also leave link down below the playlist for YouTube. But anyway, I just really want to thank all of you for joining because it meant a lot to me that you loved this project as much as I did, that you um, were so excited about something that I came up with. Um, so it was really cool that everybody was so excited about it. And um, I'm definitely gonna do this one again next year because I love it so much. Um, I know that's a long, long ways away, but just throwing it out there. <laughs> anyway, let's get into what I finished. So I chose 14 quotes that were about love from 14 famous authors, uh, poets. And then we linked a product to each quote. I have nine items left as of last time, so let's see how many I actually finished. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Uh, the first one was, love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies, Aristotle. And for that, I chose this little lipstick gloss duo from Tarte. It's the um, lip sculptor from Tarte and it's called Sangria, the color. Uh, and the color is the lipstick and the gloss. So there's this guy, which is really, really pretty. Kind of brown, peachy, like a warm brown. And then the gloss here. So I think I had used this like 10 times last time and I have used this 14 times. It's not difficult because each time I used one or the other, I get a tally. So the last couple times I just used the lipstick with the gloss on top and that it's two each time. So anyway, I have discovered through this project that I actually do enjoy this as long as I wear a lip liner with it because if I don't, it will bleed. But anyway, I am happy to say that, uh, yeah, I'm going to be keeping this in my collection and enjoying it. So, but I did finish 14 uses. Okay. And the next quote is my bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have for both are infinite. William Shakespeare, this guy right here. It's the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. It is not an illuminator on me. It's a bronzer. I have used this seven times. Yeah, seven times. It's, I just, I don't like liquid bronzer. I mean, it works and it looks pretty, but I just never remember to do it or I just, I don't know. I just don't really enjoy it. So I think after using this seven times in this project and I've had months to get into it, I'm going to go ahead and just declutter this. It's just not my kind of product. So I will happily say goodbye to this as soon as I'm done here. But yeah, seven times I did my best. <laughs> okay. My best wasn't good enough, but you know what? I'm not going to force myself to use things that I don't really enjoy. So anyway, okay. The next quote, if I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I could walk through my garden forever. Alfred Lord Tennyson. For that, I chose the Smashbox and Vlada, uh, the petal metal highlighter. And this is in Gilded Rose. I will show it to you. It looks like this. It's very, very pretty. You don't even see it. So anyway, I stink and love this thing and I had like a hard time using it prior to this project because it's so pretty that I didn't want to mess it up. But you know, I've been using this a lot and it's still intact. So it's probably going to take me a while to break through and destroy this flower 
So I'm really happy that I've gotten some use out of it. And also the packaging is still pretty, so <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but this one I did use 14 times because I love it so much. So that was pretty easy. 14 times. Done with that. The next quote was, young love is a flame, very pretty, often very hot and fierce, but still only light and flickering. The love of the older and disciplined heart is as coals, deep burning, unquenchable. Henry Ward Beecher. So I interpreted that quote as like an old flame, like a new love or an old flame. And for that, I picked the NYX HD blush in taupe. It looks like this. It's so pretty. I love this. I use this all the time. I will see. I don't know if you can see the dip, but there's a huge dip in there. But yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's a pretty big dip. <laughs> I use this all the time and it was not difficult to get 14 uses in on that. So yes, I finished this, keeping it, still love it. I will pan that. We'll definitely be panning that, no problem. I use it all the time. So um, yeah, let's see what we have next. Okay, so the next quote, age does not protect you from love, but love to some extent protects you from age, Anais Nin. So for that one, I chose a sunscreen to protect me from age. So it quite literally does what the uh, quote says. So anyway, this is the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector. Uh, this is SPF 42. I love this, but it has kind of a mattifying effect. Um, I am down to here because it's quite easy to see through at this point. But anyway, I used this nine times. I know, it's sunscreen. I should use it all the time. I do use sunscreen a lot, but um, right now, really all I need to cover is my face and my hands because everything else is bundled up. So a little bit of this per goes a pretty long way. Um, not to mention, I keep reaching for my um, dewy one, my oil stick from Supergoop, which I absolutely adore. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this off and probably not buy it again, at least for now. Yeah, if I want something matte, I'll pick it up again. But for now, I'm really loving the oil stick and like the dewy ones that I have. So I'm just gonna finish this off, but I should have been able to finish it. I really should have, there's not that much left in here, um, but I only used it nine times. So what are you gonna do? So the next quote, love consists of this, two solitudes that meet, protect and greet each other. Uh, Rainer Maria Rilke. So for that, I chose the Cover Effects Monochromatic Blush Duo. I had to remember what these are called. Uh, this is in Warm Honey. And I love it so much. I love the packaging too, the little soap. <laughs> it's just really smooth and just, I don't know, I like it. So here it is. That's what this looks like. It's so beautiful. I should have used this today, but I didn't. <laughs> but I already used it 14 times, so that's fine. Uh, this was pretty easy to use 14 times. It's one of my very favorite types. It's one of my favorite types of blush products to use because just this kind of neutral nude color, this warm honey <laughs> is so beautiful. And mixing it with this shimmery bit right here the, to give it like a nice glow is so nice. So that's why I chose it because they meet and greet, you know, as per the quote. But anyway, this was again, super easy to use 13, sorry, super easy to use 14 times. Uh, it took me a little while because I had so many blushes in projects, but it's done. Okay, what's next? Okay. So the next quote, love does not dominate, it cultivates. Johann Wolfgang von Gogh. Okay, so for that, I kind of 
translated that to mean something neutral that doesn't like dominate, you know, and it cultivates. So I picked this lip liner and it's a very nude color. It's the Lime Crime Velveteens in the shade Angel. And I'm actually wearing this today, not because I had to, just because I wanted to, <laughs> because I've used this 14 times already. So this was super easy to use. It goes with a lot of the lipsticks that I've been using, panning, etc. So, but yeah, I love this. I really do. It's very warm, but very neutral. So uh, that was easy to use 14 times. And I do like it a lot. And I generally am not a lip liner person. But using this in this project has really made me use lip liner. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. So it's still in my drawer. It's going to stay there for now. <laughs> it's in a different project uh, this time last year. So yeah, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. But that's done. 14 times was easy. Okay. The next quote Love makes your soul crawl out from its hiding place. Zora Neale Hurston. And I chose that as like something bold. And for bold, I went with glitter. So I picked the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Dollish. It's so pretty. It's so easy to use this. I do have a lot of eyeshadows this color, so I would like to pan this. But at this point, it's pretty new. But it's got 14 uses on it at least more than that because I was using it before this project but anyway that was really easy to use too I love these so much so I get so many compliments when I wear these it's like you spend a lot of time doing your makeup and then people compliment you and you just slap one of these on but they don't notice when you do something crazy and difficult so with lots of blending and whatnot but anyway <laughs> I'm glad for that because sometimes I just want this but yeah it was super easy to use this 14 times and I'm very happy that it's out of the project well I'm very happy I'm done with this because I do have a lot of other eyeshadows that I'm working on right now for my um, panning solitaire so glad that's done do love it but it's gonna get put away for now <laughs> okay let's see I have one more because I had previously finished five items. So this is going to be my last one. So the final quote for this update, we're all a little weird and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. Dr. Seuss. It's a mouthful. It's a lot of weirdness. <laughs> But uh, that's pretty accurate, um, at least for my husband and I, so <laughs> I can relate. Anyway, this was the Urban Decay Double Team Mascara. The color is Gold Mine and Dime, so it's a gold and a silver. I am wearing it on my lower lash line right now. I think last time I had used it five times, and I believe, let me check. Okay, so I have actually used this nine times. It's kind of hard to find a reason to throw on gold and silver brow or mascara, honestly, which is weird because I should be able to do that. But anyway, I am wearing the gold on my lower lash line today. I'm not sure if you're picking it up, like if it's it's kind of hard to see unless it's in person, but I really, really love it. So um, I don't know why I didn't use this more, but I didn't. So I used it nine times. Oh, well. <laughs> so let me see. That means one, two, three. So that's only three things that I didn't use 14 times. I'm okay with it. I would have loved to have finished them because it should have been simple. But, um, but you know, I'm getting rid of this. I will finish this. And this one makes me really sad because I love having things like this around, but you never get to finish them because you don't use this every day and it's a mascara, so you can't keep it around for too long. 
uh, and I've had this forever. Let me tell you, I'm pushing it real hard <laughs> keeping this. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to declutter this and it makes me very sad because I don't think you can get these anymore. Uh, I think it's a great idea, but I think what I'm gonna do instead is I have found, I have found this lovely person who has a makeup line and I'm super into it. I love her stuff. I'm probably gonna go pick up a couple of things from her. Yes, I have enough makeup, but I am decluttering that. So I'm gonna replace it with the, she has, it's Danessa, it's Danessa Myricks or Myrix. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I'm so into her right now. Like I love her looks so much. I'm so excited to get like my first product from her. So I'm going to do that. Um, she just got into Morphe not too long ago and I do have a Morphe that I can go pick things up from. So that's cool. Uh, but I'm going to get like a little tube of this, um, metallic, uh, cream that she has. And I think that I should be able to paint that on my lashes, use it as eyeshadow, highlighter, whatever. Um, it's very multi-purpose kind of a thing and I'm getting really into that these days like these creams and multi-purpose kind of products have been things that I didn't like in the past but now are kind of becoming my favorite so anyway I'll probably pick one of those up and that way I will be able to get the effects of something like this but not have it in a form that is only good for like one thing basically so can't wait for that Anyway, that is my finale. I have finished all but three things. I very much enjoyed this. As I've said, I do wanna do this again, so looking forward to that, but there's a lot to do in the meantime. I've got like a roulette pan collab coming up, which I'm super excited about. I have another project coming up with a couple of my dear friends here. So um, yeah, look for those. Okay, so that is everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this project. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do leave me comments because I love talking to you guys and I will see y'all later. Bye.